What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Real Fan Sports. My name is Zach. I'm here with my partner, Nonfiction. What's good, brother? You know, it's been really good so far. We got, we got some good videos coming for you guys. Hope you enjoy the oh, one yeah. you, you're about to see. But uh, what you got for us today, brother? All right, so this is a fun one. This is one that, okay. that's been interesting to us. We've been told many times since we first started watching any mm -hmm. type of cricket videos is y'all do not understand how hard a cricket ball is. It's heavier than a baseball, it's more dense, and it is bone crushing. So what yeah. we're going to do today is watch a video on how a cricket ball is made, and I believe it's called a kookaburra cricket. So it's a kookaburra cricket ball manufacturer video. So we're going to check that out. Okay, let's get it. A little, little how-to, how you know? <laughs> Only one balls played more test matches, taken more test wickets, scored more test runs, and made more terrific test memories than any other. And that ball is the Kookaburra turf ball. And just as it was over 60 years ago when the Australian Cricket Board of Control chose the turf ball for use in the 1946 test series, the Kookaburra turf ball is still handcrafted and hand-stitched. Mm. I like that. I like that mm -hmm. it's still hand stitched, handcrafted, not just getting run through all kind of process to get it done. It's care, care for what. So like a, yeah, out. I think uh, baseballs are still like that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To begin making the ball that is now used by eight out of ten test playing nations, Kookaburra sources heavy leather steer hide. The same leather is used for both the red and white balls, only the dye is different. Okay. Hand selected, tanned, cut, and then shaped into hemispheres. The leather is then stitched to ensure it keeps its shape. Indeed, quality and consistency is paramount. Whilst the manufacturing technique has changed little over the many decades, Kookaburra invests heavily in research and development. That's the really cool part about it too, that it's, it's been the same for so long. Like it's yeah, just, yeah. they perfected it. And it's like, it doesn't yeah. need to be any different. You know, and they, so it said it's a, a, a leather outside, so let's see. Uh, to ensure the absolute the consistency and quality of every ball. At the same time as the leather is being worked, a core of cork is tightly wound and quilted with worsted yarn. The process repeated five times. It's these five quilted layers that are at the heart and soul of every Kookaburra turf ball. The hemispheres are then hand paired and together with the core are measured and weighed together for consistency and quality control. Then the two hemispheres are closed around the quilted core and hand stitched using the very finest of linen. It's a skill shared by- And it's hand stitched. So they're using a mach yeah. machine to, to just hold the shape. And then the final thing is done with a hand stitch. Just make sure it's perfection. Mm -hmm. I like that. Only a handful and a technique that hasn't changed since 1890. Now almost ready for play, the turf balls are treated yeah, with a crazy. nitrocellulose lacquer and shined to test match requirements. The lacquer replicates <coughs> the shellac finish of the original English balls, yet it offers a far more even coating, and one that slowly wears off rather than cracking or peeling. Finally, the kookaburra balls are branded with the iconic mark that has adorned every kookaburra turf ball used throughout the cricket playing world before facing the final test on the pitch. From that very first Kookaburra turf ball used by Don Bradman's men, Kookaburra now manufactures over half a million cricket oh, balls they do each like a year strength and test 50 Stre different like a stress styles. Test, yeah. Yeah. Indeed, Kookaburra Sport is the largest manufacturer of cricket balls in the world. From the hallowed turf of the Melbourne cricket ground and around the world, whether it's Test Cricket, 2020, or Junior, Kookaburra cricket balls are the cricket balls of choice. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, like you said, the the, the history, the, the legacy of it all, but also the how it's still ha handmade. You know, for the, for ninety percent of it, is mm -hmm. actually pretty cool. I, I, I like that. I kind of did that because it reminds me of when they do baseballs and some aspects of football, mostly baseballs. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, the one thing that interests me the most is just how you know the cricket ball and the way that they use their stitching is mm -hmm. just it's done so perfectly for cricket. Right. Yeah. You know, with a baseball, the stitching is done. I don't know what the shape would be called, but it, the the way that it's shaped together, the different pieces of leather, uh, yeah. 
it, it allows you to throw the, the pitches that they do a certain mm-hmm. way. Because, you know, you use those, uh, the strings, the stitches, the stitches in yeah. order to create, you know, curve on the ball and whatnot. Yeah. But for cricket, having that one full circle around the uh, hemisphere of the ball allows them to do what they do. It's it's yeah. just interesting to me how how yeah, it's the little done details. Yeah. perfect yeah. for their need. You know. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. You couldn't. You couldn't. Cool. You couldn't baseball pitch a cricket ball, and you definitely couldn't bowl. Baseball. <laughs> you just couldn't. Wouldn't work. Yeah. Well, this was definitely interesting. It's our first ever like how to video, so I mean, maybe we have yeah. to get into some more of these. And one thing we definitely have to do is we eventually need to get a ball from all these sports that we're uh, yeah, covering I, and yeah. get them in the background. We've talked about wanting to get a, a, a rugby ball. Uh, we I need really to get an AFL ball. ball. We need a cricket ball. Yeah. We're going to have we're gonna have to figure this out and, and, I would and get lo- that going. I would going. love to have like a row of the, the different sports though up there. I'd be kind of fire. Yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> but uh, for uh, the person I recommended this, thank you. You also recommended it to us on Twitter, so I appreciate that. Uh, yep. If you have any other great videos for us to check out, go ahead into the comments, RFS request. I'm sorry, not the comments, the description, RFS request, and you can send us whatever videos you'd like to to check out next. Uh, Thank you, guys. Love you, guys. And Don, close it out. Hey, we love you guys. Appreciate you. Don't forget, if you are on Instagram or Twitter, please give us a follow. Oh, real fan sports. Please give us a follow. We need to we need to grow those platforms for something special that we have working in the future. So please follow those platforms like this. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, bingo. (laughs) We're out. (laughs) Cheers. Peace out.